Hi friends, today in Faith Heroes, we are going to watch about St. Thomas, the Apostle of our Lord Jesus Christ. When we reflect about St. Thomas, what can you understand? Do you think that he is a man who was doubting about his faith? Do you think he is a man who was doubting about our Lord Jesus Christ? Yes, it is indeed true. He was doubting about his own faith. Of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, he was not ready to believe in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. But do you know, by doubting his faith, actually he was deepening his faith. By doubting his own life, he was growing closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. I think you are so much interested to watch about St. Thomas, the Apostle of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we watch the video now? Well, where do I start? You are going to tell us how the phrase Doubting Thomas originated. Well, Thomas, also called Didymus, was an apostle of Jesus. After Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to his apostles while they were assembled in a room. Unfortunately, Thomas was not amongst them that day, and when he came back... What's wrong? You look as if you have seen a ghost. Not a ghost, but we have seen our master in flesh and blood. Seen the master? What are you saying, Peter? Yes, Thomas. Jesus was with us an hour ago. He even spoke to us. Our beloved master, he is indeed alive. What? No, I won't believe it. Unless I see the scars of the nails in his hands and put my finger in those scars and my hand in his side. I'm not going to believe. A week later, the disciples were together again indoors. And this time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came and stood among them. Thomas, come here. Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Then reach out to your hand and put it in my side. Stop your doubting and believe. My Lord and my God, I'm so sorry. Do you believe because you see me? How happy are those who believe without seeing me? Then, Uncle Francis, why is Thomas considered a saint when he doubted Jesus? Praise God that Thomas doubted. Perhaps it happened for our sakes, because we are people who have to see and even touch to believe. I am sure many of us would have wondered if the disciples had really seen Jesus, or whether it was their blind faith that made them believe so. To think of it, you're right, Uncle Francis. After this incident, Thomas never doubted Jesus again. He touched and was touched indeed. He went on to preach the word of God with great zeal. When he saw that Jesus had risen from the dead, it made his faith even more strong. So you see, the right response to doubt can lead to deep belief. Thomas was a good apostle, always eager to serve Jesus. Hi friends. Today we watched about St. Thomas, the Apostle of our Lord Jesus Christ, how he was doubting his faith, very especially when Jesus encountered to him how he was ready to accept him. That's what we watched about today's video. Let us also continue to watch the next video, how he was courageous enough to accept his faith, how he was willing enough to give his life for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. Until we watch the next video, shall we wait? Bye-bye. See you.